Obviously, I'm a diehard Batman fan. You guys can tell from like I think the last two presentations we've been doing class. Um, I love Batman, and I'm not a fan of Superman. Maybe that is not clear. Um, <laughs> I truly do think Batman is superior to Superman. I'm not saying he's the best. I mean, he is, but that's not what I'm saying right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> I do think he is better than Superman, though, and I will explain that. Batman has actual motivation. Okay, I understand that they were both orphaned at a young age. Superman's plan of blew up old man. That sucks. But he had very, very <laughs> loving parents that cared for him, gave him everything he ever really wanted. He had a good home life, and Bruce Wayne, or Batman, he had a great parent. He had great parents. They, had, they, were, they taught him good, honest ways of living, and then they were so violently ripped apart from him. He had such a great childhood, and then it was just ripped away by some low-life criminal who wanted her pearls on his mother's necklace. And Superman's cool. I understand that. And I can understand the fact that it probably sucks to have your entire whole planet blown up. But you did have parents that loved you, and you had a real childhood, a real future. And the only reason he even chose to fight crime was, according to the comic books, because he had nothing better to do with his spare time. As Bruce Wayne shows this, obviously, to avenge anyone who's ever had a hard time because of some little life criminal who decided to make a mistake. Batman's smarter. I'm just going to say that right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Superman is supposed to be this highly intelligent, literally super, super intelligent man with his super abilities, but every time there's a fight, he either goes up with his fists or throws something at the bad guy. And Bruce Wayne systematically has to understand, okay, I'm a human, but what can I do to get this guy in a jail cell? What can I do to take him down? Besides just lifting a car, throwing it, or coming at him with my in like invincibility. I'm not saying it's cheating, but that's kind of lame. <laughs> You don't really have to care about the story of Batman to be able to, like, uh, I'm going off comic books here because they're my life. Um, <laughs> in the Superman comic books, uh, specifically, let's say, Red Sun. Red Sun, in it, it asks, what if Superman was dropped off in Russia as opposed to America? That implies that you have to care that he was in America in the first place, which is a little odd considering he's supposed to be the embodiment of the American dream. But Batman, you could read any of Batman's comic books, understand exactly what's going on, because either way, Batman's going to get the bad guy. And it doesn't have to have some confusing and long story that you need to follow. It can just be a good issue that week that just keeps you happy and lets you know that Batman's safe today, so it's all right. Batman actually does teach your better message. He teaches you that life sucks, so wear a helmet and then get bat ears and sonar technology in that helmet, track life down, and then punch it. <laughs> <laughs> Superman doesn't really have a message. He, I mean, in a sense, he does have a message. He, you know, fight the bad guys, save the day, get the girl, because he doesn't want to get the girl, I guess. But Batman actually has, this is his life. This is all he does. He is Bruce Wayne in the day, but he is Batman because that's what he feels that he needs to do. He needs to save the day because he knows there's going to be someone ruining someone's life and he has to be the guy to stop that. In Superman, he is stopping crime, which is awesome. You've got to commend him for that, crime fighter. But not nearly as, he's not trying nearly as hard as Bruce Wayne or Batman has to. He just does it because he was born that way with these crazy awesome powers and that's not really teaching you a message. Superman's message is that if you're not born with the ability to fly and be invincible, then you're kind of out of luck, so good luck with that. But Bruce Wayne is telling you that, hey, look, life does suck, but you can totally do something about it, and you can kick its butt. Batman can lose a fight. I can admit that. I love him. He's the best. But I can admit that. Batman is just human, and that's the best part. The humanity of him. He's just immortal. But that gives you the sense that I could be that. Like, why, why can't I take awesome kung fu classes and learn how to build things? Granted, he had billions of dollars, but if I really wanted to, why can't I build some awesome suit that shoots batteries and can put stuff on the building? Why can't that be me? Well, Batman says that it can be me. Get that. Thank <laughs> you.